Hello, booktube. I'm putting on a seatbelt. Safety first. And I would like to roll down my window because now it is very warm. So I'll just do a little bit. Um, what's going on here is I'm going to win to do a another driving around book review because I have time to do it. Ugh, ugh. Oh, hang on. <sighs> kind of driving like a maniac. <clears throat> All right. So, um, let me see here. Uh, today I finished, um, a Conan story, which was, um, Beyond the Black River, which was kind of cool. Um, for some reason, a lot of the Conan stories that I've been reading, not all of them, because some of them I get right away, but some of them, like they build really weird. Like, the beginning of them, they're very, um... Well, for instance, this one, Beyond the Black River, like, the first chapter of it was... Like... It took me so long to get into it, and it wasn't even that long of a story at all. I mean, it's like like six chapters I guess, but they're a little, or is it eight? But they're not, it's not long you know, but for some reason um, it took me a really long time <clears throat> to like get into it to where I was like excited to read what happens next and um and there are sirens everywhere, and I don't know where they're coming from. Anyway, um, so long story short, too late. It turns out, like, once he threw an axe at this, like, demon creature, and then it ran off, like, with the axe, like, embedded in it, <clears throat> I was in at that point. <clears throat> and the story... Again, it wasn't until, like, the last chapter, or the second to last chapter, where Conan explains, like, things that he's done and places he's been to where you could go, oh, so this happened, like, right before he became king kind of thing. And that irritated me a little bit because the whole time, for some reason... I felt like he was younger um, in the timeline, but um, it, it's it's a pretty cool story. Um, it's just about like um, this state, we'll say, is trying to expand its borders into the frontier, and in the frontier are very scary things. Um, that are fighting back kind of thing. Um, and it seems to be told from the point of view of this character named Balthus, I think is how you would say it. But it wasn't told from his point of view. But a lot of the emotion and shock and all that stuff seemed to be coming from him. And that's another thing in the Conan stories that's kind of weird. Like, when they're told more from his perspective, I like them a lot better. Um, the other thing... The other thing I read, or finished today, was um, Tarzan the Terrible. And this was really weird, because we have the story from the last Tarzan book. And this is the eighth Tarzan book, I think. Um of where he thought Jane, spoilers, he thought Jane was dead in the last book. Um, and that was, what was it called? Conan the Un something. I can't think of it right now. My brain's wobbly today. Um, <clears throat> and 
so he, you're going into this book with the whole idea that he's going to look for Jane, which he does. But what you get is this crazy ass, like, I, I want to almost call it like a precursor to, um, Tarzan at the Earth's core. And I'm wondering if this was written around the same time as the cast back books were. So I'd have to look into that. But, um, like, he finds this, like, what do you call it? Like a <clears throat> lost world kind of place in Africa. And, um, and Q Fred. I'm home now. And, um, ooh, that was my hand. So he finds this, like, lost world place. And, um, there's, like, fucking, like, dinosaurs and shit. And, um, there's, like, two races of people. Like, these, like, hairless white people with, like, no tails, which... You're like, well, no shit. But then the there's like a hairy black race of tailed people. Like they have tails and shit. <clears throat> um, I don't know. So it was like totally bonkers. And um, I won't ruin the end because the end was to me like the only part of the book that stayed canon if that makes sense, compared to where the story went. It was really interesting, um, and it's weird, and I think I had higher hopes for this, because a lot of people said that um, this book is when the series starts to get really good, um, and it was okay. Like, I still think there are better Tarzan books. <clears throat> um... But, um, but the end, the end was good, but at the same time, the end was kind of one of those, um, what do you call it? What do you call it when it's like God intervenes and everything's okay? Um, can't remember the saying for it. It was kind of like that, but not not really it it seems like I need to like map out when all of Burroughs's books came out because it seems like there's a chunk of books that end not because he was able to write his way out of where he put himself but because there was some act of something that came out of nowhere that saved the day kind of thing. And, um, it's weird because like the last few of his books I've read have ended that way. And, um, even some of the like later John Carter stories ended that way. The last Pellucidor book I read ended that way. Um, So, just, like, everything's, like, weird. It's, like, it's kind of, like, oh, my God, this is, like, such a shit video. Um, it's kind of, like, you're, like, fuck, I don't know what to do. We're fucked now. Oh, wait, what's that on the horizon? Oh, it's all of our friends. We're saved. Shit like that. Um, and it's, it's not that it's getting old, but it's getting to where I'm like expecting it to happen. And it, as much as I was expecting it to happen here, I didn't expect it to happen the way it did. So if that is a good enough, um, bonkers review of that, then, um, yay. So, um, this is way longer than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to let you go.